Are they the cutest sandal? No, but I'll tell you what, they're not bad. All of our grandmothers wore them and all of their bills were paid. Rich black shorts and pasty white legs. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. For today's video, I'm doing something a little bit different for the channel, but not necessarily anything new for myself. Any of you guys who have been following along with me for a while know that before I had this YouTube channel, I had a fashion and lifestyle blog. On that blog, I would regularly share outfits that I was into. Fashion was a very big part of my life. I actually have my degree in fashion merchandising. And so I've always had a very big interest in fashion and the industry, so much so that I went to college for it. Now that I'm a 30 something working mother of two toddlers, fashion tends to not be the biggest focus in my life, however, um, I always want to take pride in my appearance. I always want to feel good. And one of the ways that I feel good about myself is when I am pulled together. Some people may call that vain. I personally don't. It's really just something that I do for me to feel good about myself. It's not even so much as to be perceived as a certain way by other people. It really has everything to do with how I feel about me. And that's one of the things I've always loved about fashion is that the right outfit, the right fit, the right colors can make somebody feel so much better about themselves and can really transform a person's confidence. But like I mentioned, I'm busy, right? So I was kind of faced with the decision of like, okay, well, how do I pull myself together quickly and feel good and look good and not spend a ton of money on my wardrobe? And I came up with creating a series of mom uniforms. Now these uniforms are styles, outfits, or silhouettes that I can turn to in a pinch that I know work for me, my body type, and they allow me to kind of pull things together very quickly, feel together, and get on with my day. Which in turn kind of helps me relieve some like decision fatigue. I'm constantly making decisions for myself, for our family, for our kids all day long. This kind of limits that and it makes it just a lot easier for me to get dressed. Now I know that a lot of people kind of lean into the idea of creating a capsule wardrobe. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's a series of pieces in your closet, let's say 20 to 25 pieces in your closet. Um, usually they're all kind of in coordinating or more neutral colors so that they're easily mixed and matched to create your ideal wardrobe without having too many options to choose from. Personally, I am more a maximalist than I am a minimalist. So I would get bored with a capsule collection very easily. It doesn't leave enough room for variety for me. Having a series of go-to like uniform styles where I can mix and match pieces in and out of gives me the ability to have that variety that I like while still kind of maintaining a similar look that makes it just easy to get dressed. So today I'm gonna to walk you through my mom uniform wardrobe. All right, so this is the first outfit. I'm gonna back up so you can see the full thing. I don't have the right lens to be making a video like this. To be honest, I don't even know what kind of lens I would need to be making the video. I am so not technologically savvy when it comes to the cameras, so bear with me. It's just gonna be, an awkward video, but it's me and that's how it should be if it's mine. All right, so let me break it down for you. We've got a wide leg linen pant, a body hugging body suit tucked in, denim jacket, and then for shoes, I just went with some white tennis sneakers, but there's obviously a variety of shoes that you can wear with this kind of outfit. You could do sandals, you could do something as simple as flip flops. I wear these pants everywhere. I wear them to the office. I wear them to dinner. I wear them to the beach. I wear them to run errands. I wear them to chill on the couch with my family. They're that comfortable, but still look so pulled together. When wearing something that's kind of wide leg and not giving your lower half much shape, I like to kind of make the top half of me a little bit more fitted, a little bit more defined, because sometimes if you do baggy on top, baggy on bottom, it can look a little disheveled. And listen, sometimes I'm into that look too. It really depends on the day, how I'm feeling. For the most part, this is how I do it. And then because this is like a very skimpily strapped bodysuit, this is from Abercrombie, I love their bodysuits. Um, I throw on this little denim jacket a lot of the time. Like if I'm going to the office, I work at a jeans casual office so I can wear this. Um, if I'm running errands or if I'm around the kids who like to like pull on me all the time, this just makes me feel a little bit more covered. Not a big accessory person as far as like jewelry goes. This is the most you'll really see me in, my wedding rings and like this necklace is one of my favorites. I don't really have a lot of jewelry that I wear um, and most of the time I forget to put it on anyway. Right, so but moving on to uniform number two, a matching set. I happen to like a long sleeve button down with the sleeves rolled up and shorts. I just think that it kind of gives off like this really effortless cool vibe. For matching set, I got my button down, sleeves rolled up. 
my shorts. Honestly, I just grabbed this white tank for my drawer, but any kind of like bodysuit or like tank top works really well underneath. And then you could always take this off if you're a little hot. Often this is actually a really great look to throw on over a bathing suit if you're going to the pool or a beach. I have matching sets where the top is actually even more oversized than this. This way, if I do wear it over a bathing suit, I can literally just like button the, the top up, like two buttons and leave it over my suit and wear it as like a full on cover up. I just do this on with some white sandals. For me, matching sets give the same like pulled together energy as like dresses and like rompers or jumpsuits. Like it just, it all goes together, it all flows together and it looks like an outfit that you put thought into but really you just put on a matching set. Like there was no thought behind that <laughs> whatsoever. And I have to say matching sets are a little bit of a newer mom uniform staple for me but they are quickly becoming a favorite and I'm quickly kind of stocking up that area of my wardrobe. And now let's talk about one of my favorite summer mom uniforms, a flowy dress. I happen to be wearing my favorite one this season. This is like a little gingham dress from Amazon. If you like this one, I'm gonna link it down below because honestly, I love it that much that I feel very confidently that you need it too. It's just such a friendly silhouette to so many different body types. It just looks good, you feel good. It comes in so many different like colors. It's other gingham prints and then solid colors and I really should probably up my game and get more. On the weekends when I want to be comfortable and casual, I wear these little Steve Madden sandals. And if I'm wearing it to the office or I just want to dress it up, I pair it with these aerosol platform sandals. Out of all my dresses, this one might be my favorite, probably the one I reach for the most, but I love dresses. And it tends to be the area in my wardrobe where I have the most fun. A lot of the times with my like denim or my shorts or my tops, I keep things kind of classic. With dresses, I tend to have a lot of fun with color and pattern and textures. I have some of my other favorites here. This little number is very fun and bohemian. I got it from Target. It's from their Knox Rose line. I get so many compliments on how like fun and springy and summery this is when I wear it. It's also a Target line. It's from their Avon Viv Plus Size line. Um, but it's this pretty, pretty flowy like cobalt dress. The sleeves are flowy and then it has a nice slit that's not too, too revealing. Another thing I love about this is the top of it. You can kind of control how much chest you want showing so this gets cinched in with like a tie and if you loosen it it's covering more chest so like great for like the daytime when you're around kids who are like pulling on you but then if you also want to take it to the evening out with your partner um you can cinch it in and like show a little bit more this dress is newer to my collection it's from nordstrom from the brand Caslon. um i've owned many pieces from them over time i really like the way that they wash and wear um really good quality i love like the gauzy material of this dress super summery got a nice little little frill at the bottom um and the smocking up top very flattering the one thing I hate about this is it has ties in the front and back because you're supposed to tie it in bows over your shoulder, but I find that it's annoying and it doesn't stay put. So what I started doing is tying the front ones back behind my neck in a halter and tucking in the back ones, and it totally changes the look of the dress and it's really fun. I like that it can kind of be versatile with the different ways to tie the straps. And then last dress I'm gonna show you, I was influenced by this because Angela Brand, I've showed it on her channel, and it looked so cute on her, she had it in black. Then I ordered it for myself and I tried it on and I was like, I hate this on me. I think it's because she's smaller than I am. So like, I don't know how tall she is, but I think she's, I think she's more petite than I, and I'm just like a bigger, curvier person. And so in my size, I felt like it kind of looked like a 10, which sometimes I could be down for, but I was just like, not what I was expecting. But then I started just wearing it around the house. And I was like, actually, it's kind of like a more stylish muumuu. And listen, I know that sounds weird to say, but I kind of feel like every woman should have a muumuu. It's kind of like nightgown ass, but I'm telling you, all of our grandmothers wore them and all of their bills were paid. And so I don't know what to tell you, except that the muumuu works. I'm not wearing this for a hot date with my husband, but around the house, for work calls, for whatever. The neckline is square, kind of like a peasant top. Like it's very pretty and it's flowy and comfortable and it has pockets, y'all, pockets. Next mom uniform a jumpsuit, a one piece jumpsuit, okay? Doesn't matter the color. Sometimes I'm even really flexible on the silhouette, okay? Jumpsuits are so comfortable. Again, it's a one piece thing, so super easy to throw on and like look pulled together. And then you kind of just like accessorize it as you want. Here's the full view. This happens to be my favorite jumpsuit. It is from Abercrombie. I got it two summers ago, so I don't know if they still have it, but it's been a staple in my life ever since. It's so easy to take it from like casual to dressy. Like I've even worn this to work. So like for hanging out with the kids, 
a playground thing. If it's a little chilly or whatever, I'll throw on like an oversized button down and leave it open, roll up the sleeves so that it's like fun and cool looking. And then I'm an elder emo. So of course, Vans are a staple in my life. I've upgraded myself this year. I went from having like the regular slip-ons to having the platform. If I don't wanna wear my Vans or like closed-toed shoes, I will opt for my other favorite comfy shoe, which are my Tiva sandals. If you are somebody who is living and breathing here on earth, you need these sandals. I thought they were ugly at first. The first time I saw them, I was like, I'm not wearing those. Those aren't cute. Um, it doesn't even matter, sis. It doesn't even matter. Are they the cutest sandal? No, but I'll tell you what, they're not bad. And they happen to be the most comfortable things that I've ever worn on my feet. Like for long periods of time, walking around doing things, I forget that I have shoes on sometimes. And I'm like, wow, I've been wearing shoes for like eight hours and I totally forgot I had anything on my feet. They're that comfortable, so yes, you need these. These aren't a mom uniform staple so much as they are a life staple for everybody. The jumpsuits are literal perfection because they're so easy to take from a casual look like I just showed you to like something dressier. If you don't have a go-to jumpsuit or two, you need to get you some. So now we're getting into my final summer mom uniform, but I'm gonna show you how I do shorts two different ways, basically reversing the silhouette. So remember what I said about sometimes your uniform could be a silhouette. For my first look, I'm gonna show you a tighter, more fitted pair of shorts with a looser top, and then we're gonna reverse it and I'm gonna show you a looser pair of shorts with a more fitted top. One, I'm going with a classic pair of lightly distressed cut off denim shorts. I mean, there's nothing more American in the summertime than cut off denim. I'm personally at a stage in my life where I prefer a five to to a seven inch inseam. These are a five and this is as short as I'll go. These are really comfortable. They have nice stretch to them. They are the OG straight shorts, I think from Old Navy. But to keep the outfit from being like too tight and maybe too uncomfortable, depending on who you are, maybe too revealing, I like to pair it with a looser top. I personally love a white button down. I think that every woman should own like at least two. They're so versatile and they can be worn all year long. So even in the summer, I throw mine on with shorts kind of gives me a little bit more of a pulled together look. Of course, if I didn't want to wear this, like could I just wear these shorts with a t-shirt? Yeah, but I'm talking about summer uniforms that make me feel pulled together and make me feel like the best version of me. And while I love a good band tee and they're comfortable, this definitely gives a little bit more of a polished vibe. If I'm keeping it casual, I'm wearing an all white tennis shoe. You can obviously dress this up with like a summer wedge sandal. I personally love to just throw on a little bit of an embellished flat sandal. Now let me change into my shorts reverse silhouette look. Here's the second silhouette. We've got a form-fitting bodysuit up here. We've got like a loose trouser style linen blend short. This is a newer pair that I haven't gotten much wear out of yet, um, but I have to actually get the waist taken in because I was like in between sizes in these shorts. They're from Old Navy. Um, and the size down was too snug and the size up was too big. So I'm gonna get them taken in so they're like my perfect fit. And until then, I am just cinching them with a belt, which is a great way to add an accessory to this. If I was going for a more casual look, I would pick a different belt. This belt is a little bit dressy for like, you know, the playground or, you know, grocery shopping or whatever. But for dinner with my husband or like shopping with my girlfriends, like this is, this is cute. Um, and then I just paired it with these flat sandals, studded, clear. Um, I think I got these from Amazon. They're pretty comfortable as far as a flat sandal with like no support goes. Even though my office is denim casual and these are dressier than denim, I wouldn't wear these into my office, but paired with a blazer, an oversized blazer, this outfit is actually super cute. So I have that on my mind for like, a dinner out with like my girlfriends or something. I'm telling you, switch out the belt for something a little bit more casual, throw on a baseball hat or like a straw sun hat and a pair of supremely comfy Tevas and you've got yourself the perfect like hangout daytime look. Mom uniform talk would not be complete though unless we talked about accessories. So like I mentioned earlier, I'm not a big jewelry person. I have maybe three or four necklaces that I kind of rotate between when I feel like wearing necklaces. I have a couple pairs of costume earrings, but I really never wear those unless I'm like going out to dinner and I'm trying to like fancify myself. For the most part, you'll see me bare eared, but if you do see earrings in, it's usually just a pair of like diamond studs. I'm almost positive that I own zero bracelets at this time. I really should like up my bracelet game, but I just, I don't, I don't know why. I'd love to be one of those people that has like a cute stack of coordinating bracelets. To have to put that on every day seems like a lot of work for me. Now, I I used to be somebody that would buy 
bags and shoes like in excess and truly in the last several years I have really started to pare that down and I spend more time now focusing on quality over quantity so I don't have a billion purses the way I used to um, because the few purses that I have now are expensive and they're ones that I save up for a really long time before I buy and I treat them really well and I love and respect them because they're expensive and I take care of them shoes I don't spend quite as much on and I don't put quite as much thought into shoes I do have a little bit more fun in the shoe department still closet space is limited so before buying a pair of shoes I try to think about the versatility of that shoe and how many different ways it can be worn and how many outfits it can be worn before I purchase it all the shoes that you saw in this video are pretty much my go-to shoe my white adidas and my Steve Madden um, ivory sandals that you saw with the dress if I need to dress something up and wear a pair of heels the platform aerosols my van my ridiculously comfy Tevas like all of those shoes are kind of the go-to shoes when I'm getting ready as far as some of our bags go I have two that I really lean into the most I have this belt bag that I wear cross body instead of wearing across my waist um, sometimes depending on where I have the strap I'll even just throw it over my shoulder like this this cross body bag is newer to me this year um, and I have to say I've been wearing it non-stop I've absolutely been loving it it's got the long crossbody strap for you know the day or running errands or whatever but I can also detach it and just carry it by the little top handle and I could carry it like this or I could put it up here so I thought it was pretty versatile because I can do day or night with it I love the ivory color to it and that it's not like a stark white then since it's summer you can't ignore a good hat I happen to love like a straw hat so this is kind of like a wider brim fedora I absolutely love this hat it's a 10 out of 10 for me i bought it at marshall's a couple years ago um and it's just been one of the greatest additions to my wardrobe ever since new to my collection this year is a straw like visor um so it's open at the top so i could like put my hair back because a lot of the times the problem i have is like at the beach i tie my hair up and then i can't put my hat on but i want the shade so this gives me some shade on my face while still being able to put my hair out aside from those kind of like summer staple accessories i just suggest baseball hats you know sometimes it's just easier to throw your hair in a baseball hat and go i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please do me a favor and leave it a thumbs up or a comment those things really help out my channel and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe for more videos in the future and i'll see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>